Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to do a slightly different video. We have some new neighbors that just moved in next door like last week. Um, Jason and I met them when we were out in the garage working on the laundry room project. Um, and so they weren't quite moved in yet. They had just bought it and closed on it and they still had to move and and do away with the old house and all of that stuff. So they weren't quite in yet. So we've been giving them a week or so to kind of get in and get settled. And then we would like to welcome them to the neighborhood because we had a neighbor in our old house that we just loved her so much. Anytime we were out of town, she kept an eye on the house. I had her number, she had mine. We would chit chat back and forth. If one of us had a package delivered and we weren't home, we'd ask the other one to go run and grab it off the porch, that sort of a neighbor. And you know, in this day and time, neighbors like that are really hard to come by. Now we do know that this is a couple. They're young. I think they're probably younger than us. No children. They have two dogs and um, she says she's a nurse. So she's home some of the time and not some of the time. She works at a hospital. So knowing that information that I gained from them, I'm gonna put together a little welcome basket for them that we're gonna run over there. I can see that both vehicles are in the driveway. So I might run over there in just a little bit and take it to them. But I thought I would share it with you guys in case if you might have a new neighbor or this would also be a good idea if you have a neighbor like we had at our old house that you really had a good relationship and they're moving away and you hate to see them go. Maybe a little basket to say farewell, best wishes, we will miss you, keep in touch. Um, thanks for being a great neighbor and a basket that you could put together with some little things to kind of help them with their move. So this is just an idea. This would also be, you customize this for any person, whether it's a neighbor, whether it's your child's teacher, um, somebody that's having a birthday, a graduation gift, you could totally customize what you're putting in here for make it for any kind of an occasion, Mother's Day, Father's Day, a birthday, an anniversary, a wedding gift, a baby gift, lots of different ways that you could do this. But today we're gonna do it for a neighbor. So I've got a um, assortment of items I did I am forgetting one thing. I got to go run downstairs and grab it. But I'm going to run and grab that and we'll come back and we'll put the basket together. Okay. Okay. We're in the schoolroom. The kids are over here and over here doing their schoolwork. So if you hear chairs squeaking or pages rustling, that is why. So excuse the background noise. So we've got our supplies. I've got some tissue paper. I just chose some white, some bright colors. And then I have some that has like little sparkles in it. Um, I just use what I have on hand so that I'm not using up a whole lot, having to buy a whole lot. This doesn't have to be expensive, right? So I'm gonna put a piece in the bottom of this basket. Now this basket I got at Walmart for like six bucks. I will try and link that below in the description so that you can see where I got it from. We're gonna cut the tag off. I was about to do that. So this is what the tag looks like. That's what I bought. Just in case I can't find it to link it. And then I also found just an inexpensive kitchen towel. This is what I got. I'll try to also link that in the description below as well. So we're gonna put a dish towel. Maybe we can lay it like this. Um, I also got a candle from Walmart, all of this stuff that I bought, I will try and link it below in the description. Well, before we put that in, this is what I forgot. I baked a loaf of banana bread and I have done a video on this before. If you'd like to see it and get the recipe for that, I will link that video in the description below as well. It has been the three days you will know if you watch that video. Once I do it, I wrap it this way and this way in saran wrap, shove it down in a freezer Ziploc bag, try to get all the air out and leave it for three days, don't cut it. So it's been three days today. I set that in there, it's the heaviest. And then we've got a candle. And then I grabbed some ice drinks, just for like some little snacky sort of things. And then Bath and Body Works had a big sale going on where all the soaps were like five for some however many dollars. And I had a coupon to get even more off of that. So I grabbed some soaps for different various gifts. Then I got a kitchen one. I'll try to link that in the description as well. So they can have some kitchen soap, a kitchen towel, a 
candle for their new home. They can reuse this basket if they would like to in a closet or for storage. I got some popcorn. Let's try to put some tissue paper in here. work a little bit better. We've got a couple of bags of popcorn we can stick in here, here and there. I got a pack of gum. A couple of cans of Coke. And then I'm gonna stick a note card. I have a little note card that says just a note. It's just blank. I'm gonna write a little note welcoming them to the neighborhood with our names on our uh, phone numbers, email, contact information. So if they ever should need us to watch their house for them or pick up a package or if they have an emergency, then they know that they can call us at any time. And I will stick that note in there saying, welcome to the neighborhood. And then I will run that over there next door. Okay, so there you go. So now I've got my little welcome note in here. Bailey gave me a cute little yellow flower sticker to stick on the back and stick that in there just like that. And then we've got the drinks, the popcorn, the gum, the soap, the hand towel, the candle, the banana bread, and the note with our contact information and welcoming them to the neighborhood. And of course they can use the basket for closet storage or whatever they want to use it for. So we're going to run this over there and be a good neighbor and, you know, say welcome to the neighborhood. So if you've ever received a basket like this and you appreciated it, which I don't know why you wouldn't, let us know in the comments below what was in your basket. What did they put in there? Or did they just bring a, a bag of goodies? Or what did they bring? You could customize this to anything. Now, I did banana bread because I already had some bananas that were almost black. They were done and they needed to be used for something anyway. So I just whipped it up. It takes like 10 minutes. Um, you can see that video down below in the description box. Um, so that was easy. I just whipped it up really quick one, one day. Um, these were easy to pick up at Walmart. You know, if you didn't want to do banana bread, you could make cookies or you could buy some cupcakes or you could buy some cookies or uh, snacks or whatever you want to put in there. It's totally up to you. I already had the Cokes. I already had the popcorn. Um, the dish towel was easy. You could customize this for anything. Baby showers would be great um, with little passies or specific items when you had a baby that you knew was super helpful for you. There are things that I give every single baby gift just about, like the Great Big Carabiner Clip. I do the Johnson & Johnson Creamy Baby Oil because that is mosquito repellent for my kids and that is the only thing that would keep mosquitoes away. Um, the little passy clips. I give a laundry bag, like a mesh bag that you would put lingerie in to put in the washer to put all the little bitty socks and the little bitty mittens and the passy clips and the hair bows and all of those little teeny tiny things that you don't want to get you know, lost. I do all those little helpful things that helped me as a baby gift. So doing it up in a basket like this would be adorable. You could do it for a wedding gift and go to their registry or don't use the registry and just make a gift basket of like kitchen items. You could take a recipe for a casserole and you could put a casserole dish, the recipe for the casserole and then the dry ingredients that the casserole would need. Like if it was rice and Velveeta and canned soups, stick all that in there with the recipe card, with the casserole dish, or spaghetti sauce and some dried pasta and a colander and use the colander as the basket. 
lots of different ways you can do something like this. You could do a graduation gift for a senior in high school who's going off to college and do like a dorm room basket with snacks, maybe some cleaning supplies, maybe a little tiny laundry detergent. Um, and then also put in your card, put like a gift card to like fast food restaurants or a Visa gift card or something along those lines that has the bulk of the gift on it, but the basket is adorable and functional for them. Lots of ways you can do a basket like this. You could do one for a teacher as a teacher appreciation. That would be fun. So, but this one is for a new neighbor. Like I said, you could do it for a neighbor that's moving away and a wish you well basket um, sort of a thing. So now that it's done, it's all put together, got my note, I'm gonna go deliver the basket. Thanks for watching and we will see y'all on the next video.